Welcome back to another unpackaging video. Uh, today we have mail from Zobi through V Shout from the last V Shout that I ordered. This actor has done a lot of voice work and he's also done some producing and writing. But in the 90s, there was this little sci-fi movie that came out. It is also has a Zobi certificate of authenticity. And I already received my V-Shot video, so I had that as well. Um, so in the 90s, there was this little sci-fi movie called The Giver. Not MacGyver, The Giver. Um, it's also based on like, m manga and also uh, had a Japanese TV show, manga, anime based on it too. And um, they did English dubs of it too and then the Japanese dubs. But um, the first movie had Mark Hamill in it and... Michael Berryman in it, and Spice Williams, and Jimmy Walker. Had a good cast, but the uh, movie was not very good, well made. Um, David Gale was in it too. Um, so yeah, it had a really solid cast. Uh, Mark Hamill was not the main character, but they ended up having him on the cover as half the superhero, half him, so it had... The superhero armor on one side and Mark Hamill's face on the other because he was Mark Hamill. So they decided to throw him on there because they thought that it would end up probably making more people want to go see it. Um, well, it was cool for what it was as a kid. I was really into it. Um, however, as a kid and as an adult, I enjoyed the second one a lot more. Um, it was more well done. The action was better. The Corey choreographing choreography was a lot more done with the fights and it was a lot more cool um so in the second one David Hyder or Hater who played the main character Sean and the Giver and he's the one who did the did the voice for Solid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid games for most of the time and he also did some writing and whatnot for X-Men, X-Men 2, and the Watchmen movie. And anyways, he played Sean and the Giver in part two. So there's him and the Giver and his autograph. And he quoted, put a quote on there. One of the best lines in the movie was, they were going to um, hearing screams and they were going to go find help. And so he told the main love interest in the movie, whose name was Corey, uh, played by Kathy Christopherson, I believe it was, or Kathy Christopher. I think it was Christopherson. I'm not sure exactly on her last name for sure. But anyways, he told her to go find help. And they thought it was a bear attack, which was actually a Zonoid, which is the name of the monsters in the movies. And so she, he had told her to go get help and he'll take care of the bear. Adrenaline rush, she goes to go find help and she's like, he'll take care of the bear. And then she's like, holy shit. Anyway, so you know, she doesn't know that he's the guy for her. So anyways, he goes and has a really cool epic fight with them. And uh, yeah, so the, he has the I'll take care of the bear line right there. So that is it for this round. Um, I have items that I'm waiting on from a couple of companies through signings. Um, one is Star Wars related, and it's a big one. Um, one is also John Hughes related, which I'm waiting for. It's another big, almost full cast one. So 
I'm waiting on those whenever they start shipping out. I know one company's been doing some stuff with Star Wars Celebration, so they might have wanted to wait to ship everything out until then. And I'm not sure what's going on with the other one. Uh, expected that one back by now. Um, and then I have one from a friend who went to a convention. Still waiting on that, but uh, things are kind of going on there with personal stuff. So I'm, you know, not in a rush on that one. But um, that's it for now. Stay tuned. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and thanks for watching.